It's Quick Tip Tuesday, and today I'm gonna to answer the question, why are my tomato seedlings turning purple? Hey, I'm Brian with Next Level Gardening. If you're looking to join an online garden community that offers tips, tricks, and support to help take your garden to the next level, you're in the right place. Start now by clicking subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss anything. Now let's get growing. Let me know down below if you've had some purple issues with your tomatoes and what you did to fix it or if you're waiting for this video to find out what to do. So first off, your tomato seedlings are turning purple because they don't have enough phosphorus. But it's not exactly as simple as just giving them phosphorus. If you remember on some of my older videos where we were talking about blossom end rot, blossom end rot is caused by a lack of calcium uptake into the plant, not necessarily a lack of calcium in the soil. And those dry times are gonna make it difficult, if not impossible, for the plant to bring calcium into the plant. Well, the same is most likely true for your seedlings. So if you look at this one here, it's looking purple. In fact, the bottom of the leaves are really purple. Can you see that? Now these were <clears throat> taken care of very well while we were gone by my mom. I, I will announce right now that she's the one that took care of my seedlings while we were down in San Diego. And she did a great job. Everything, when I came back, it was all alive, it was growing. Um, but I didn't instruct her on or even tell her to feed them because I just didn't want to, you know, add one more thing to the list. So that is the problem is they have not been fed. So that is one reason why they're purple. Now the second reason could be it's too cold. They're growing in too cold of an area, uh, be it inside or outside. And when the soil is cold, it slows down a plant's growth and it slows down nutrient uptake. So the easiest thing, if you have the ability, is to warm up the area, be it a warmer light, a heat mat, putting it by a radiator, something like that. When the soil gets warmer, the plant might start coming out of that purple look. Now the purple look, you know, in and of itself for a little while is not gonna hurt it. So you don't have to worry about, you know, this is an emergency. Don't wait too long. But try that if you have the ability to do it, warm up the area. The second thing that you need to do is just feed them. You don't have to feed them full phosphorus. A general all-purpose organic fertilizer will do just fine. So I'm gonna use the Neptune's Harvest uh, tomato and veg. You can also use the fish and kelp. Both have a higher middle number, which is the phosphorus, but they've got all the, the nutrients. And you will actually mix it half strength for seedlings this size. Once they're about eight to 10 inches tall, you can go to full strength, but right now, half strength. And then the second thing I'm gonna do is foliar feed these with a mixture of Epsom salts and water. Now, a lack of magnesium can also cause uh, purple in that phosphorus works with magnesium to help this problem go away. Uh, so, magnesium is best applied as a foliar feed. That's why I don't recommend just putting Epsom salt in your soil because it does have salt and that is not good for soil. I'm gonna mix up some Epsom salts um, about a half a tablespoon per gallon, put it in a spray bottle after it's dissolved, and then spray directly on the leaves. The fertilizer and the magnesium foliar feed, along with the heat, should take care of this in just a week or two. So there's your quick tip. If you learned something, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. It pushes it out to a wider audience. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on Friday.